Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. I'm Laras Anggraini from English for Art class. Um, this is my second video. Um, today I'm gonna be telling you how to. How, uh, I'm gonna be telling you about hatching techniques in drawing. Um, basically, hatching is a um, is a technique or a method where you can add like light and shadow to your drawing so it looks like more alive. And today I'm gonna be showing you nine types of hatching techniques. I, actually, there are more than nine, but I'm gonna be showing you nine of hatching that you can use in both digitally and traditionally in drawing um, so right now I'm, I'm using Ibis Paint so please ignore the that add on top because I couldn't afford something to remove that so right now I'm gonna be explaining about linear hatching Linear hatching is um, several lines drawn close together to create areas in of shadow in a drawing. And linear hatching is uh, usually used to add value in a linear fashion. So I'm gonna show you how to create the linear hatching now. So the lines in linear hatching are usually close to each other so it makes like um, a really nice gap and de and depth and yeah this is the um, linear hatching. The second one is cross hatching. Cross hatching is a, is a method of line drawing that describes light and shadow. Basically it's like hatching except that, that the lines are cross over each other so right like linear hatching but I'm gonna show you now the third one is um, wavy lines so wavy lines usually is um, using a fine liner that can give a unique pattern look um, these lines can be done continuously to achieve a beautiful wave wavy patterns the fourth um, hatching technique that I'm gonna be telling you is the scales scale is continuous pattern which is filled within borders it can be any pattern which fills in the area so right now I'm gonna be using like half circle so it will look like this all right that's um scales so right next one is zigzag hatching zigzag hatching is line in zigzag in zigzag pattern so the more that the lines cross the darker the value now i'm gonna show you how to do um, zigzag hatching also you can use like um, different pen size and to define more darker and depth but right now I'm gonna be using one size of pen you can use any any kind of size of pen for this kind of hatching to create more darkness and shadow and lights that's the exact hatching the next one is lines and dots Lines and dots makes can give a unique pattern. So it's just it's it's literally just lines and dots. They're usually um really close to each other but it's kind of hard to do it on phone so I'm gonna use it use it like 
this kind of big distance so yeah this is lines and dots okay i'm gonna move into the next one is contour um, contour shading works similarly to hatching like the linear one uh, but your lines will follow the curves of the object that you are drawing so um, right now my object is a circle so i'm gonna be following the object shape and curves um, to create depth and dimension so it's it's gonna be looking like this Cross contour um, starts with contour for lines uh, rather than hatchet lines so it's the same as um, cross hatching but it follows the curve of what you're drawing so right now my, my object is, is circle uh, so I'm gonna follow the curves and cross contour it cross contour it so it creates like dimension it doesn't just look like like a really flat line of a really flat circle something like that so contrasting lines and broken cross hatch are two similar techniques that work the same way as a regular cross hatch so it's just it's literally just cross hatch but you can you can use it as a pattern so it looks like a randomized cross hatch pattern that looks like this So yeah, these are uh, the nines of hatching techniques in drawing. So once again, you can use it on both traditionally and digital drawing. Um, I really hope it helps you to improve your drawing skill and it really helps you to define more light and shadow in your drawing. You can use uh, any, any kind of hatching techniques. So um, thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope it can help you so thank you so much and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh